And again, it comes back to how much money is Terence Crawford going to generate? Um, amazing fighter. But I just feel that promotionally, they haven't done the job that perhaps could have been done on Terence Crawford to, to make him the draw that he should be. Okay. So do you think that it's worth it for you or you're not interested? Like, are you? I'm interested because he's a great fighter. Right. But I, th I, I think we all struggle to deliver the numbers that he would want. What's good, family? So mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. <laughs> Damn, it's bad for your man's Terence. Damn bad, Crawford. He going for it right now. Eddie Hearn punking him. Now listen, Eddie Hearn, he's number one PR. He, I'm sorry, he number one, what's the word? He number one SJW, I ain't gonna lie. Eddie Hearn loved to sit on the fence and kind of stroke everyone's ego, but... Reading between the lines, Eddie Hearn punked Terence Crawford and told him, Listen, Terence, I don't know what you're talking about with this Bob Arum lawsuit. You've been, Bob Arum, been overpaying you for a minute. Because people who understand business yet yeah, know that your value, you can't sue, or you shouldn't be trying to sue Bob Arum for doing you wrong and underpaying you if the market is telling you you're a bum ass dude and that's the one unfortunately yeah <laughs> for example Terence Crawford may have a case or, or, or it, it makes sense for Terence Crawford to have a case against Bob Arum and to have a right to be up, upset and be crying and, wo and, mo and moaning if number one he hadn't have re-signed with Bob but more specifically to this video it have made more sense if guess what during Terence Crawford's time as a free agent. Terence Crawford been a free agent for a few months now. And if during that time he had a whole bunch of big fat offers, because Bob Arum exposed Terence Crawford and said, listen, we were paying you four or five million for bum ass fights we lost money on. So if Terence Crawford had a whole bunch of big 10, 20 million dollar deals coming in, he may have a case. But guess what? Eddie Hearn, who number one SJW, he loved trying to, do you know what I'm saying? He loved trying to women's fights on, do you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. He loved trying to be in the mix like that. Do you think he wouldn't put Terence Crawford on if he could? He even said that, I love Terence Crawford as a fighter, but the numbers just don't work. Oops. Yeah, this shows, this should show Crawford that he best go back to Bob. And I think he going to end up, I think that's the reason he ended up suing, you know. I think the reason Crawford ended up suing was because he realised, damn, I'm down bad. Because you remember, the lawsuit didn't come immediately. When Terence Crawford left Bob Arum, that, there was about two, three months in between. There wasn't a lawsuit initially. And I think what happened was, Terence Crawford thought, okay, I'm going to leave Bob and I'm going to make all this money because I've been done so wrong. And Bob's done me so wrong. Then he realised, oh shit. There, no one wants me. I'm a bum ass dude. At which point, rather than swallowing his ego and humbling himself and begging Bob for his job back, he thought, in fact, no, tell I. I actually heard that Terence Crawford did try to swallow his ego and beg Bob Arum. But Bob told him, listen, <laughs> you ain't got no chance. At which point, that's what actually caused a lawsuit because Bob Arum told him Terence I ain't paying you no more millions for bum ass fights and no one trying to pay for yeah Crawford and Porter sold 20,000 pay-per-views you're a bum Crawford you don't do no numbers yeah look at Conor McGregor look at all the big stars they did it on their own Terence Crawford the only guy you don't hear nothing about and he's moaning about how he ain't known Name me one. Think about people like Adrian Broner, for example. Adrian Broner, another example. He was he, he wasn't even a good fighter, but unfortunately, a lot of these guys here, yeah, they think being a good fighter is all you need. I'm afraid to tell you, that's the start of it. Being a good fighter, that gets you in the door. That don't get you... I don't know, since when, yeah, does being a good fighter mean you should get $20 million a fight? Who told you that? Yeah, being a good fighter don't guarantee you more than 50 grand. That's the bottom line here. If you want more than that, you best get your chopper moving. And I'm sick of this entitlement, I really am. Sick to death of it. People feel entitled to something. You've got Dillian White, you've got Terence Crawford. Oh, I'm entitled to this, I'm entitled to that. You ain't entitled to Jack, is what you're not entitled to. 
Bob Arum done you a favour all these years, paying you a whole bunch of money for bum ass fights, losing money on bum ass pay per views. Because, I mean, tell me one fight, yeah, genuinely, tell me one fight you've actually been looking forward to with Terence Crawford's because of the hype. There ain't one. In fact, tell I, there was one that was half cooked, and that was the Porter fight. That's the only. And then and after the fight, we found out that Porter weren't, weren't really trying to. You know what I mean? Oh, we found out they're best friends and shit like that. So it was, it was a dead promotion anyway. Terence Crawford has never been involved in a real hot and smoky p promotion. Because he is a bit of a, is a, to be honest, he's a, just a bit of a side man. That's what it is. He just don't, he just don't seem to be interested in promoting his fights. Now, that's good for him, but you can't have it both ways. Either you accept that you don't want to promote your fights, and you accept that you'll be paid accordingly, or you best get tipping tables over. Do you understand? But these days, in 2022, people feel entitled to it all. They believe they should be able to do no promotion and get paid $20 trillion for their bum fights. And what this what this quote from Eddie Hearn shows you is that Terence is a bum. And we all knew that. It's not rocket science here. Crawford's never done numbers. He's the only guy who don't get that. It's ba Honestly, it's baffling. You don't do numbers. And you're moaning about not being paid. Where do you think this money's going to come from, Crawford? It's, it's a, I don't know. It's a weird mentality to have. Super weird. It's a victim mentality. And Eddie Hearn, who... Like, Eddie Hearn said it there. Eddie Hearn said, listen. I'd love to promote Crawford. I told you before. Eddie is, not, Eddie, Eddie is number one SJW. He loves to kind of be in the mix. He'd love to be able to say, oh... Um, Bob Arum, I mean, he even said it in the video. He said that, oh, Bob Arum's done an awful job with Crawford promoting him. So, so you can tell, if there was any possible chance, yeah, Eddie could get in there. I mean, you saw the whole thing with a Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Eddie Hearn doing his SJW, oh, Bob Arum was horrible about women. No, Bob Arum telling the truth. And no one's trying to watch that fight. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the truth is, yeah? And all and the thing is about all these, S, all these SJW cats, yeah? Guess what? They ain't putting their pay-per-view money in. Yeah? Where's all the... You know what I mean? Where's all them... Where's all the DYKEs at? Yeah? Where are all the DYKEs at? Because I hope, I hope all you... You know what I mean? I hope all you Daiki Dons, you best get your pay-per-view card out and start putting them coins in to support this event. Because all these people on Twitter, yeah, talking about how Bob Aram's bad, you best make sure you buy the pay-per-view. That's what you best do. Trying to, Bob, all Bob was doing was telling the truth. The truth is that no one... I'm being, people just ain't trying to watch it. I'm not trying to watch... Uh, me personally. And that's the casual market. Yeah? Now anyway. On that note. That's relevant because, trust me. If Eddie Hearn could work with Terence Crawford and do the same thing he's doing. Oh, look how, Bob, look how bad Bob Arum is. He'd do it. But it shows you how... How unsellable Terence Crawford is. And that's on him. He needs... When do these people start taking responsibility? Wait there a minute. Why don't I do something about this? Never once have you seen Terence Crawford actually say, you know what, let me try something different here. Maybe being a sideman and working out if I want to get paid like a big dog. Because Crawford's never been a big dog. He's not a big dog. He's not. He's not a big money-making dog. And the last thing I'll say is, Eddie Hearn slags off Bob Aaron for not doing the promotion properly, but I think Eddie Hearn gets confused sometimes. He looks at his success with Anthony Joshua and thinks that he's able to create lightning, lightning in a bottle. But really, AJ, you, you hit lightning, you hit the lottery with AJ. What have you done since? Yeah, If it's so easy to create these big massive stars, where are all your examples? I mean, look at, uh, look at Bob Aram's history. He had Ali, he had all these big cats. So, it just shows it's lucky. It's not to do with, it's not possible, trust me, if Bob Aram worked with Terence Crawf Crawford for years, do you think he wouldn't want Crawford to be a big star himself? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make no sense to me. Slagging Bob Aram off don't make no sense. Bob Aram loves make, making money. If he could make a... Trust me, if he could make a hundred million dollar per show with Terence Crawford, you think he wouldn't? Of course he would. So it's got nothing to do with Bob Arum's inability to promote. It's to do with Crawford not being hot like that. Yeah? 
Crawford don't pop. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, it's, it's difficult to do. Any responsibility, Bob Arum's doing the same thing he's always done. There's, no, there's, nothing, there's nothing magical. And in fact, the fact... The point that Eddie Hearn says himself that he can't offer Terence Crawford what he wants, that shows you that if it's so possible, I mean, it's Eddie Hearn slagging off Bob Arum, but really, if it's Bob Arum's fault, why don't you jump in there and start paying Terence Crawford a whole bunch of money and start making wine out of water? So yeah, start, yeah, start making wine out of water, yeah? Turn some Eddie Hearn, why don't you take Terence Crawford and turn some water into wine? Oops. Oh, you don't want to do it, do you? So it's not that easy, is it? Because for you to slag Bob Arum off, that means that you must know how to do it. But you don't, because you just said... <laughs> Either way, listen, there, bottom line is, Eddie Hearn punks Terence Crawford, and rightfully so. It's about time these guys tighten up and focus on themselves, no doubt. 